You're watching the Rugby World Cup Daily. That building back there, that's Tokyo Station. Um, the Imperial Palace is over there somewhere. And look at this beautiful sign. Rugby World Cup 2019, comma, trademark, Japan, Nippon. Um, so loads of people here taking photos. We are still uh, keeping the passion going, even though it's midweek and we don't have any rugby. It's a big week. Semi-finals are coming up. So we will also be fitting some serious rugby chat in because it just seems timeless. Also, I washed my hair, now it's everywhere. And first up, let's just take a little look at all of those DHL epic moments from quarterfinals weekend. Upper Scannell. Stunder. Yes. Snapped away by Suvia. Suvia explodes through. Keeps it alive for Coles. Coles to a bridge. It's beautiful. Oh, he really is. Ivalu again. Touch high. Ripped out. Backwards. Ripped away by Khaleesi. Yeah, now Monster finds Pollard who gets through. Floats it wide to LaRue. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Mapipi is in again. Leon. Leon says the referee. David Pocock just does that. Interception by Henry Slade. Johnny May with him. The pick four. May to chase. It's going to be two. Still there for France. Bentamak. Bakatawa goes through Navidi. Support from Bentamak. Support from Dupont. Support from Charles Oliver. Two tries in a matter of three minutes. Looking at, at the quarterfinals uh, matchups, um, some incredible rugby was played. I thought that uh, both England and New Zealand's performances were, were outstanding. Very powerful, a different level of attack I saw from New Zealand. Um, wasn't 100% sure that Bowden would work at 15, and I was arguing, you know, Bowden at 15 when he was the best 10 in the world, and then all of a sudden it just came together for, for, for New Zealand in, in, in their semi final. Really played some spectacular rugby. Wales against France, uh, the French came to the party and then actually in the end you sort of wondered how did they lose that game? But then you, you've got to argue that Wales have found a way to win um, and they have done that in the last uh, 18 months or so, you know, being behind they really have found that way to win. Fit team, um, they get to know, they know each other very well and, and, and they get to express themselves. South Africa against uh, Japan. Well, just the whole build up to the game for me was special. The first half was um, Japanese rugby. I mean, they played, Venter, they threw the ball around. It was just incredible South African defense that kept them out. And then in the second half, the South African power came through. Um, there was a set game plan, and the team stuck to that game plan relentlessly. I was hoping for a bit of a, bit of a change, but uh, that was the game plan that, that uh, they would have decided on uh, to take them to the, to the next round. Would you rather Dwayne from Mielin or Billy Vunipola? Uh, Billy Vunipola, I think he's the best eight on the planet at the moment. He does 20 carries a game. I don't think he's been at his fighting best so far in this tournament, but I think if England are going to go deep, they need him to play well. And also the reason Billy's great is because when he has a few beers, he's unbelievable. Billy will get on a table, he will dance, and he will start telling everyone exactly what he thinks, which is incredible for me to watch. It's not beer, I promise. Okay, social roundup time. Finally, we can do this again. Miruki4 on Twitter. This is in response to Japan bowing to the audience after the match against South Africa. Thank you for the excitement. One team never give up until the end. Thank you for your energy and courage. Thank you for your dreams and hopes. Hashtag RWC2019. 
And that really echoes both in person at the venue but also on social media. Now New Zealand might have smashed Ireland in their quarterfinal but there was such a beautiful rugby moment when uh, Kieran Reid, the All Blacks captain, and Ireland's Peter Omani uh, shared a beautiful moment to get your little ball after their game. I have some questions about the keepsakes we are taking off players. We had an incident where Dan Bigger's shorts ended up in the possession of a Japanese child. And this weekend, a sock. Two, well, actually both, both socks. Worn socks, socks that survive an entire rugby match. What will you be doing, catcher of the sock, with these socks? Are you gonna wash and wear them? Tweet us at Rugby World Cup, thanks. Japan, South Africa play a world first, a Rugby World Cup quarterfinal in Asia. Packed stadium, not a seat open in the house. And yet all of the attention stolen by the piggy. Oh, Jonathan White on Twitter, you beauty. Japan versus South Africa crowd looks like expert level, where's Wally? So good. Moment of the day. Yes! It's back! Moment of the day! Oomelijk van die dag. One of my people, the Safa man, swapping jerseys with a Japanese fan. Japanese fan came wearing two shirts. Didn't want to showcase his moves to everyone, but we're seeing a lot of South African flesh there. And it makes my heart beat warm. Lifelong memory. That is so rugby. Colby or Kotaro Matsushima? Oh, Matsushima, we've already spoken about him tonight, haven't we? He is, he's got that incredible small man's disease where he just loves taking on big blokes. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. I never had that. I like the way that he plays. Matsushima. So that is Rugby World Cup Daily for today. No rugby today or tomorrow or the day after. In fact, we only have four matches left in this tournament now. Which makes me pretty sad. But, we've still got plenty of shows coming your way. And we have been up to some stuff that I thought might get us fired, but it hasn't happened yet. I'm still here. Still rocking out in Tokyo. So, we'll be bringing you some more of that. And whatever else we can find and point a camera at. Here, same place really, kind of. It's not going to move anymore now, um, and we'll do it tomorrow, I think. Let's see if I can get up. <laughs>